All right, Maximus analysis here for August 5th, 2015 at the close. And we can see that we faded a lot today. Again, let's look at the intraday time frame, and you can see that they came up and they faded a lot. A lot of this price action is where it's at. I tweeted out something very early and said, I hope that this isn't just the first hour of uh, movement. Again, the first hour is like here, and they faded badly. And you can see that they're continuing to move into the uh the close to the downside again they need to hold these areas this 2090 area but i see that on the big picture they need to hold this 20 350 area or they can come and close because again guess what the close of today is 2080.25 so again if they uh <clears throat> if they hold that that's fine if they don't they get back to that 2080 area again Again, I know that you're like, geez, how many times did he say it? I'll say it until it's not relevant, and then we'll talk about something else. NQ, uh, Priceline, you got Tesla uh, coming in, uh, earnings. You know, I don't play earnings, but again, good luck to you if you're playing that motto type of deal. Uh, got the YM looking the weakest out the crew, which is basically under the 200-day moving average, under a whole fade regarding, you can really see the fade here. Um, on the 50 of how much it moved up and then came back below this line that we had on the daily and continued to the downside again i'm not looking at any longs for this puppy right here right now <clears throat> you have the iwm that needs to hold its current lows the level of sell signal is still valid from a couple of days ago but again we want to see that 124 be broken to the upside uh because if the lows are getting broken they're coming back down here and I'm looking at least that 117.5 area to get below. <clears throat> Apple, again, Apple was a very, and again, it's funny that, you know, you start seeing people now that uh, I just talk about Apple and I start getting responses like, you know, this makes no sense. You're delusional. You, you know, all you do is draw a bunch of lines. Shut the fuck up and grow up about being trading. How about that? How about them apples? Shut your fucking mouth and grow up. That's what you need to do. I should have put the disclaimer at the beginning, but I'm sorry. Shut up. Listen, it's, it's a matter of just seeing what's in here, because if this wasn't Apple or not, I would say there's sideways consolidation. They're breaking above. It's above the 200, below the 200-day at moving average. So again, what you need to consider is that below the 200-day moving average, now that it's a part of the Dow, there might be some funds that have to liquidate it, depending on how many days it stays below. Now, if you have a break of this above, you want to see the, how this volume looks. You do not want this volume to go down. You want this volume to continue up, and you need some price action, at least above this 128, to say, uh, you know, I want to get in. Because again, you don't want to get caught in a dead cap bounce uh, after all of this price action, remember it's from February that they've been going sideways. So again, we want to see just that, not that break of a low to say, okay, it's going to continue up because if they go low volume on the way up, let me tell you, it's some more downside coming because there's a lot of institutions that have to bail out anyway, which they might've been bailing out in all of this. Only time will tell. Sorry for the cursing, the guys that really watch my stuff, but I just get sick of people saying, you know, uh they you know it's like you call that baby ugly right dude get over it this is trading dude if you're wrong something that's fine just don't change your time frame it's because what's the funniest thing about guys that are wrong and i'm just putting that out there is that let's say you take apple right and this is just the lessons learned if you're trading apple or getting in based on a, on a daily and your stop is based on a daily don't start pulling the monthly out your ass talking about on the monthly time frame it doesn't look that bad you weren't trading the monthly. You didn't even look at the monthly before. So again, are you willing to hold to 101? Because that's what the monthly says that it could retrace. And that would actually be a healthy layer to the upside. But you got a monthly sell signal on two sides. So again, are you willing to do that? But don't start pulling the monthly and all this investor type of bullshit because you don't want to admit that you're wrong. This is trading. Again, this is, this is big boys. Put on your big boy drawers. Take your, your lumps if you took some. Hopefully, they're within a parameter that you feel right. But if you have your whole position, a whole portfolio on this, and just been riding the wave, you've gotten lazy. And lazy traders usually will get lucky. But again, when it's time to really start trading, they don't know what to do. I.e., a lot of people have been getting chopped up versus sitting on their hands because they didn't have a direction to trade in. All right, I'm off my soapbox. Priceline gapped up and continued up. Again, I would not be short in this name at all. Uh, even on the fade down, again, that's not my type of play, but we'll see how this one uh, plans out. You had Netflix looking okay. Again, it gapped up, and it's 
this stuff is due for a pullback, but what, what will that do to the indexes is one of the key things that we got to look at. Uh, regarding the Dow, they pretty much held it up, which is kind of scary. They held it up with uh, United Healthcare, which they popped up. They popped up Boeing. Okay. Um, they popped up Nike. Right. And they popped up uh, Walmart. Again, Walmart's in its confirmed downtrend, but they needed the volume to push it to make it not as bad as it should have been. Okay. <clears throat> so also those that are looking at LinkedIn, uh, don't be a pig. Uh, look and see how much time you have because again, you see the selling volume coming in. So again, I'm looking at, you know, maybe the seventh, you know, or, or next couple of days, you should be either rolling your stop down or you should be um, looking to say, this isn't going to last forever. So just protect your profits as much as you can. And if that means trimming the position, that's fine. If that means they're selling the position, that's fine as well. But you see the selling volume is there. So again, if you had a great short from here, don't start saying this can go down to 160 in a couple bars. Just look for another trade and just or, or trail what you have, trim off some and lock in some profits if you can and kind of go from there. Again, sorry for the, the uh, Insta curse that I had there. But it's just really annoying when people come at me with some rubbish about, you know, I, I share this for the few. I'm, again, I know that I don't have a ton of viewers, but I try to give as much unbiased uh, commentary as possible. And when I don't know where something is going, I will at least have the balls and the heart and at least the consideration for those that are watching to say that I don't, so they don't say, okay, and then I come back a couple of days later. All this is timestamp. All this is something that somebody could say, you said this. And if I don't know, I will say, I don't know. But if I do know something, or I say that the price target has to be proven in order for us to go either long or short, I will say so and say, I am sitting on my hands. Okay, I just figured that there should be a mutual amount of respect Again, there's a bunch of gurus out there, everybody with 99.9% .9 win rate that will not at least tell you what real trading is like. And sometimes it can be frustrating as hell if you don't have a position. And the last thing I want people to do is to get chopped up during one of the tightest ranges in a hundred years because everybody's trying to quote unquote catch the big one or call the bottom or call the top. You know, we will call what we see as a trend and we will be look to trade that profitability to at least have some money in our account. And then again, we will make hay when it breaks out either way so that we know we're short and we're looking to go short side or long side. Take care, off my soapbox. Thanks for listening. Really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment. Again, you could comment, say I'm an asshole. That's fine too, but at least I'm an honest asshole. Take care.